Also developing right now, a mother and her son are sent to the hospital. Firefighters say fireworks played a role in their injuries. Also, they say they're investigating a fire that sparked on their Bithlow property. News 6's Nadine Yanis joins us live off East Orlando Road in Bithlow. And Nadine, the 911 calls were just released. And Julie, it really finishes the picture we've heard from neighbors all along because they were hearing loud fireworks exploding at the time that they saw fire flames coming from this SUV. The neighbors also tell us that this boy suffered a devastating hand injury. His mother also taken to the hospital. You can hear someone screaming there is a boy near this SUV on fire around 1030 last night. A neighbor running. Finding the boy and walking him away from the flames. In the background, you can hear sounds of fireworks going off. And then the man yelled, the boy's hand has been blown off. Someone screaming to call 911. They were outside shooting off fireworks and stuff, uh -huh. being stupid, and now their car is on fire. I mean, it's, it's fixing to blow. It's fixing to get to the gas tank. I don't know how far it's going to explode. All of this happening on East Orlando Road in Bithlow. These neighbors recording the moments you can see fireworks still going off. We start looking over there and she realizes, well, maybe we can do something. We start grabbing all of our hoses and just hooking them up over there. The fire crews arriving within minutes. They had to bring in their own water trucks to put out the fire, which burned overnight. Once daylight came, officials gave us an update as to what happened, saying the eight-year-old boy suffered from devastating hand injuries. These are preventable tragedies. Uh, so, it, it, you know, it breaks your heart to hear uh, of an incident where serious injuries or worse are caused by uh, people using fireworks. And Orange County Fire Rescue today was vague on how exactly this happened, what was happening as the fireworks went off and what caused this fire. That is because they say the state is going to investigate this, the state fire marshal's office. There's also a criminal investigation open into possible child neglect. We're going to have so much more coming up my story tonight at 5 o'clock. Guys, back to you. Nadine, thank you. Nadine Yanis reporting live tonight.